In this video I will be painting a winter landscape with watercolor. I will be using a limited palette of only four colors and I will also use some white gouache to show the snow. I didn't do a preliminary drawing with the pencil because I don't want pencil lines to show. So I'm kind of going to start drawing with the brush and my focal point are those intertwined trees here on the left on the reference photo you can see them and also the bridge so all I need to do is place those trees and the bridge on the paper and then I can go from there and add the background and the river and my composition should work itself out so because I don't have the pencil drawing I can't really mask the white so I will try to just not paint those areas that I want to stay white and then later in the video you will see that I will add some snow and some detailing with some white gouache. I slightly sprayed the paper from my water bottle and I have a pretty saturated mixture of my three colors, French ultramarine, burnt sienna and mineral violet and I'm going to start painting with fairly dry brush because I want to kind of use this um, Chinese brush painting technique. I have a Chinese brush and I'm going to change the direction of the brush to get varied marks and to get those uh, dry brush spots which helps me to show the snow that's clinging into those trees and with the trees we don't have to worry about being exact quite as much as let's say with drawing a human figure because what if one brush is in a different spot than it is in the reference photo it's not gonna matter we just want to have a beautiful painting so we can improvise a little as we go Okay, here's my group of trees in the foreground and let's put the bridge in. I'm using the same three colors, but because I didn't mix a lot of it, I constantly add to the mixture and that gives me varied tone. I don't want the same color everywhere and because I'm working fairly dry, I can't really drop more colors to what I already have on paper. I mean, I can to a certain extent, but not too much. So I vary my mixture on the palette to get various colors. I use quite a bit more water for the river because I want soft effect. Water doesn't have sharp edges. And I'm also going to 
push it up a little bit to show the shadow on those snow-covered banks of the river. Okay, and once I place the focal point, all I need to do is add the light wash for the background trees. Now I'm working on a wet surface because I don't want any sharp edges. I want them to kind of blend into the sky and the snow mist. So I'm spraying from my water bottle and I'm adding the details. I'm dropping some light red. I'm dropping in some mineral violet using splattering technique. And I'm feathering out the edge to show the branches. I'm going to add this single tree here on the right and you can see that I can't really paint the branches because they keep blending into my wet background which is fine and if you have some stuff running down like I have here on the bridge it's no big deal too because once everything dry we can add the details and once we start working on dry paper we will get some hard edges and everything will look sharper. The winter sky, you can't really see it in the photo, but winter sky usually has this grayish tint to it, so French ultramarine works really good for it. I wouldn't use cobalt blue for a cloudy day like that, it will look too bright. And the sky will be reflected in the river, so I'm going to add a bit of blue to the water as well. And also shadows on the snow will be blue, you can really see them. There is a hint of them in the reference photo, but I want to make them a little more intense. It's my artistic license to make modifications to the reference photo. And you will see that I'm still trying to save some whites and kind of work around those uh, white areas of paper. Because even though I'm, I am going to use white gouache, I don't want to repaint with it. I want to just add some details.
Okay, now my paper is dry. I waited till everything dried completely and I'm going to add some hard edges. So again, I have pretty saturated mixture of my three colors. I only used light red for the background. So now all I'm going to do is fiddle with this a little bit and add a few dark spots and add more branches. I need a lot more branches. So I'm going to use this brush and also a smaller brush. And the only trick with the branches and to keep yourself from drawing them all the same, all going parallel to each other, because that doesn't really happen in nature and it doesn't look right. So I'm going to vary them as much as possible. I don't want any hard edges on the background so I'm going to spray it with water and also after I put the paint down I'm going to keep spraying and moving paint around because I want like a hint that there is something there but I don't want any hard edges.
And even though I had the paper pinned to my foam core board, it warped while I was working on it. So I'm going to spray the backside with a bit of water. You see, I always recycle my paper and I'm gonna put it under pressure for a couple of hours. And here is the final result, winter landscape, painted with four watercolors and white gouache with no preliminary pencil drawing.